guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's ted here aka ted the blogger Woo! i like hyping myself when i come on this channel because like i feel like um <laughs> if i don't hype myself who will, right? So give it up for me, give it up for me. Woo! <laughs> okay, so as you can tell in the um, title, you can see that this is life update from like the last time I was on my channel, which is like 2022, like August, I think. Was it 2022 or 2021? I think it was 2021, wow. 2021, August, yes, cause it was the Calgary trip cover my face in shame honestly anyways, anyways none of that this year by god's grace fingers crossed i'm actually believing in myself this year i'm believing more in myself and my skills a lot has happened since 2021 um and i'm just here to give you guys like a life update if you already follow me on instagram you sort of have an idea of um what's been going on it's been all good things all good things there's one shocker though that i feel like you guys would be like oh my god ted but it's fine it's fine it's fine like yeah i was shocked too but god knows best i hope you guys stay till the end of this video to hear like everything um follow me on instagram for more like in real life updates because as it happens i feel like instagram is my go-to so i just always go there to post some things on my story or you know in my caption so people that already follow me on there sort of know you know what's going on as it happens but youtube sort of like gets to last don't worry we're trying i'm prioritizing youtube this year so i feel like as it happens now i'll come on youtube and say it well if you want to follow my life or you want to see what i'm up to Follow me on all platforms. It's Ted Blogger across all platforms: Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Um, I don't really post on Twitter, but yeah, mainly Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Follow me. It's Ted the Blogger. Let's get right into this video. So um, we already know I went to Calgary, 2021 um, August with my friend. I actually went to Calgary for my friend's birthday. It was I was still in my MBA program then. I remember taking that trip and being so excited because like I wanted to just distress. That trip was actually to distress and it was for like everyone. It was it was an amazing trip. I remember like I I was doing my school work on that trip, but like all in all, Shai, it was amazing. School work or not, it was it was still amazing. Moving forward, um life updates on that. So I have now finished my program. <laughs> I love it. Address me as <laughs> Tejumade Adejimi Adu, aka Tej the Blogger, aka the most inconsistent babe ever. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. This year is gonna be different. But aka Masters of business administration holder come on i'm not one degree hotter <laughs> i'm not one degree hotter they are daddies they are fathers they are grandfathers they are, they are daddy's dads do you understand they are mommy's mom put some respect on my name my price has gone higher we move guys we move anyways I graduated from my program. I have like a little, you know, note here. So if you see me looking into, like looking to my phone, that's why. I finished my program like in January, February, March, April. I finished my program in April, but I graduated in June and it was amazing. Like my friends came down to celebrate with me. Um, bruh, like, we had like the entire weekend filled with something. The first day was the graduation ceremony. We went for that. Then after we threw a party, people were turned. You, if you're, you follow me on Instagram, you would you would have seen like clips here and there. It was amazing. Like it was turned. Like we didn't even mind the parents that were there. We're just like turning. I feel like here in Canada, like people just use 
any opportunity you have like any celebration opportunity to turn up like we don't even care like because this place is so boring so like once someone is doing a birthday or someone is um doing a graduation or someone is marking their anniversary we're all like ah, we're down to turn up we're all we're all ready like where the drinks at you know everyone was pretty turned so it was amazing and the next day we went on like a boat cruise um we did brunch as well ah it was it was absolutely amazing i had people come down from houston vancouver um bruh i can't even remember the places now but like winnipeg yes people came out from winnipeg it was it was absolutely amazing good times good times <laughs> anyways moving forward from that i think i said i finished my program in april and then june was the graduation so from april to about august i was unemployed so i was just looking for a job i, I got a part-time customer service actually it was full-time i got a full-time customer service job just to you know hold body for some time but it was the worst like i would wake up like every morning and just be like god what like have you forgotten me like what am i actually doing when my graduation period came or the party and everything it was like a relief like from like job search from everything it was yeah anyways i don't wish unemployment on anyone um it was bad and then like you if you know how customer service works you know that the hours can be very like weird i would wake up at like I would clock into work at like 11.30 for my 11.45, 11.55 for my 12 p.m. shift and then I would work straight to 10. By then, 10 o'clock, there's literally nothing to do. Like I've been indoors, I've just been, you know, receiving phone calls, like that's it. Like literally my entire day is gone. I don't have space for any other thing. So it was absolutely horrible. Like I remember when my like and it was summer too. So my friends would invite me out for brunch or like they would invite me for parties. They would invite me for like get togethers and I'll just be like, oh guys, I'm sorry, I'm working. <laughs> I'm sure like they were tired of inviting me out. But yeah, I'll just be like, I'm working, I'm sorry, I can't make it. If I'm off, I I usually get off times during the week. So my weekends were like not basically and it was the mo it was horrible it was it was horrible okay moving forward I took a trip in August I came back um I quit my cost my customer service job and like right in that month like towards the ending of the month I traveled in July I came back in August and towards the ending of that month I got a full-time job in marketing well it was project management in marketing but it was the most amazing job ever it was full-time fully remote flexible um i had to learn a lot on the job it was amazing it was amazing the people too it was very it was very nice it was the people had energy like the people were amazing i loved the company so um i feel like i need to be I need to be very I need to keep this you know I need to keep the suspense up for what I'm about to drop well for those people who don't follow me on Instagram after I got a job in August dun 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 the next life update I got engaged <laughs> I feel like I'm still a baby girl at heart, man. Like I don't feel like I, sh I don't feel like I'm at that age. You know when people say, ah, you're at that age, you're like you're right, you're right for marriage. Yeah, I don't think I'm right for marriage. I feel like I still need people. I still need my father to pay my bills. I still need like I still need to be doing girlfriend and like doing, uh, uh, like this someone should just be babying me. I mean you still get that in a, in a marriage too it's just you know i just still want i still want the chase you know i still want i still want the i still want that you know excitement of like oh i can just you know i can do what i want not saying you can't do what you want in a marriage it's just you know it's just different it's just different and i still feel like i want to be a baby 
you know that's of adjustments because like people say oh when is the wedding i'm like wedding like <laughs> i just got engaged or people saying like oh you're about to be a wife i'm like okay what does that entail like <laughs> I don't know if it's just me but like yeah that really like it was weird it was very awkward for a, for like if for like a few months I would say a month it was it was quite awkward it was awkward because I, I didn't know how to like settle into that role of like oh fiance but but it's a good thing at the end of the day I got engaged we're all happy about it I'm excited um wedding wedding planning has started um i just recently got um a, an event planner um we're you know working together trying to find a decorator at this point in time um i'm going to start i'm going to do like another video about um wedding planning and like the journey and yeah because i feel like that takes another video on its own the prices are ridiculous like mind-blowing prices like decoration 10 million naira ha, 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 ha like i feel like i used to hear it like you know just like from people but like now that it's happening to me i'm just wowed like are you serious decor alone is 10 million like i know there are people that do it for that i know these people that are charging these prices are like that's their price and they're doing quality work but at the same time like allow me be shocked okay like i like i've never gotten married before so these prices are new to me and i'm allowed to be shocked so i was wow even like my outfits <laughs> God. Another video on its own, another video on its own. I feel like I'm we're going to do another video on its own. I'm excited about the planning process, getting married. So we've picked our dates. Um it's going to be our civil wedding is going to be here in Toronto and it's in May. Um and our white and traditional wedding is going to be in Ekiti State. If you don't know, I'm an Ekiti girl, so it's going to be in Ekiti State um and it's in december so ah super excited about that all my friends are excited my my mom is overjoyed god <laughs> this is her wedding actually this is her wedding like from the moment i got engaged she already started planning i'm like relax you know you guys know me relax exactly like that's basically what i'm telling her to do but so far so good like everything is everything is on track i'm super excited my, about my outfit you guys know i don't play with my outfits bruh like i think um that's one thing i'm super excited about i've also gotten like um a stylist so i can't wait to start working and cooking up cooking up good stuff hey i'll take you guys along i feel like yeah that's one reason why i even have to be consistent on youtube as well just to take you guys on the journey you know dress fitting sketches um checking out hauls um just like meetings consultations you know all this so thing. moving forward from getting engaged dun 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm having so much fun yeah, we bought a house Woo! i like i can't even imagine like i feel like i'm growing up too fast so we bought a house um in the gt it's a four bed and 2.5 bath um it's a three-story house so a lot of stairs guys a lot of stairs like i'm tired of climbing stairs i'm on, like when i'm when i'm on the highest floor i'm just like anything downstairs anything below me can stay there until i have energy like i cannot be walking downstairs and coming back like i can go down and come up but like i have to walk down two steps like bruh are you serious if i if i climb one step that's it like i can't come back like whatever is there can just rot and die honestly i know i'm being extra but i'm just lazy guys that's just who i am i'm, I'm a lazy person when it comes to like physical activities and like climbing the stairs like i just cannot except it's like super important then of course i would go down but like most times i just facetime ohi from like wherever i am oh are you busy please can you bring this for me he's tired of it but he has no choice nobody forced him to propose 
you get but yeah we bought a house it's amazing um it's an amazing feeling we're still like settling in so we're still trying to furnish um we haven't even started furnishing honestly because like everything we have they're from our previous um apartments like individual apartments so the couch in the living room now is from Ohi's apartment um the tv that we have in here is from my place and his place um i'm currently in my shoot room i like I can see all the boxes just stacked up here. We just take things one step, one day at a time, one step at a time. We have our mattresses on the floor. We had to buy that with like those things because like we had to sleep, right? So we're trying to get like a, a bed frame. Plus, furnishing with wedding planning is actually a lot, like expense wise. I feel like there's a lot of money that is just being thrown in different places so like we're not able to really prioritize okay let's focus we can't focus on one thing we have to just pay as we go so pay for maybe if it's um the stylist who are paying we have to pay for that pay for this pay for that if we really really need like something in the house we would buy it so basically we buy our expenses as they come um this again will be another video i want to take you guys on the furnishing process so you can see like you know the furnitures we're getting just how like our house is being elevated from what it is right now from an empty space to you know a more livable space a more like a space with good aesthetic a space with bomb furnitures you know what i mean moving forward to my next update i feel like this will be like my last update um it's not a good it's not good news but also like it you can you can take it as good news for you know for yourself because i feel like this has sort of like opened my eyes to like you know more opportunities and pro possibilities of like what i can actually do for myself and like touch the blogger as a brand basically i'm back on this unemployment street yeah so the job i got in august last year i got laid off um last week and it's been like it's been it's been hard like it's been a mix of emotions really i feel like when i first when i first got the news i was very very sad because a lot has been a lot had been going on in the company and like i'd voiced out like some certain things or some certain struggles and um um uh, the story long shot but basically i got let go and at the end of the day i felt i felt very bad about it but at the same time it just made me think that i could be doing content creation full-time um part of my job was mainly content creation for like a different brand um and like managing different clients day to day but i feel like i can be doing that for myself like i why am i working for another person if i can do this for myself and build my brand i already have the community shout out to you guys Woo! <laughs> i already have the community supporting me um also like i just feel like at the end of the day god's will will be done and i'm just right now i'm in such like a confused state of like should i keep applying for jobs should i do content full-time like should i just get it part-time you know things like that and i like i'm just very confused and i just again i just feel like god's will will be done um i'm praying to god about it i'm just i'm just in such a weird weird state i feel like some days are better than others like today now i was able to wake up go to the gym you know handle certain things reply emails um shoot put on makeup shoots like i feel like today is actually a good day two days ago or so i was just in bed like after i went to the gym i came back i was just in bed like searching for campaigns searching for like researching on brands doing like tech blogger stuff but like not really not proactively like i was just in bed like doing things because i was i wasn't feeling up to it i was just sad i'm not saying this just to get pitied or anything but at the end of the day if you've ever lost a job or if you if you've lost something you know you know there's a certain degree to how it hurts so 
we're getting over it we're we're working it one step at a time i feel like my mantra for this year guys is slow and steady i'm just going to take things one step at a time i'm taking things slow and steady let god tell me let god tell me what to do or open doors to let me know how to like move forward with life at the end of the day we're all his kids and like his will for our lives will never be a bad one right well it will always be of good his our thoughts his thoughts for us his 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 vision for us will always be on, of good and not of evil so i'm just trusting him completely i'm trusting him totally i'm not even worried um yeah basically that's that's it i hope you guys enjoyed my video i tried to rush through this because i didn't want you guys sitting here for um like 30 minutes if i haven't said this before i'm going to be posting videos every saturday so turn on that notification button and expect my videos every saturday morning not evening i don't know but it's going to come out on saturday okay um i'm saying this just for accountability i want you guys to hold me accountable if you haven't seen your video on saturday if you haven't seen the notification and it's learning sunday please message me like send me a message in my dms like if you don't follow me on instagram the handle is ted blogger message me ted how far our video you know like i just feel like that will keep me more accountable because I know that now there are people waiting for me to drop something, to actually drop something. So I will, I will be well accountable to drop in videos like consistently. So yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button and comment. Yes, comment, comment, comment and share. Make sure you share the videos too so people, other people on your page can watch it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.